Welcome to the Milano 821 Gold Camel Guide for Modern Warfare. The Milano is one of the best submachine guns in the game, believe it or not. And I'm going to share everything I know to fast and efficiently unlock it, the best maps and game modes, and everything will be timestamped down below. Also, check the description for the full Dark Matter and Dark Ether Camel playlist, as well as my Discord link. The fastest way that you can get gold is to have your gun already max level before you start working on camo challenges. Whether you leveled up your guns in the past in zombies or have leveled them up during double XP weekends. The fastest way to level up during zombies is double XP weekends playing with three friends. This will increase your XP rate to eight times, but it only happens on double XP weekends. And yes, it is meant to be in the game and you can get your weapon to max level in only 45 minutes. And in multiplayer, you can get your weapon to max level in about maybe an hour and a half during double XP weekends. The Milano shares the same camo challenges as the rest of the SMGs. Unlocked at weapon level 0 is Spray, which requires you to get 300 illuminations. At weapon level 5, you get Stripes, which is 75 headshots. At weapon level 10, you unlock Classic, which is 25 Bloodthirsties, which is 5 kills in a single life with all kills coming from the Milano. This does stack, so if you get 10, it counts for 2, 15 for 3, so on and so forth. At weapon level 30, this is Flora, and this requires you to get 75 kills while the enemy is affected by your score streaks, equipment, or field upgrades, whether that be the field mic, UAV, so on and so forth. At weapon level 40, this is science, and this requires you to get 75 point blank kills. At weapon level 50, the last camo challenge is psychedelic, and this requires you to get 25 double kills. Before we go into the actual camo challenges themselves, here are the attachments I used. Since I had my weapon level maxed from zombies before I even started to play multiplayer, I had everything unlocked so I could use whatever I want whenever I wanted. On my muzzle, I ran the suppressor for extra stealth and so I don't show up on enemy UAVs. For the barrel, I run the 10.6 inch task force barrel, which increases range and is better for accuracy. For my grip, I had the field agent grip for better recoil control. For my handle, I had the serpent grip, which is increasing your ADS speeds. And for my stock, I ran the Raider stock for an increased sprint to fire time, which makes you more lethal at closer range. And for some reason, if I was going for long shots, I would take off the stock and run the three time scope for long shots. Going in depth to the camo challenges now, for spray and stripes, you will complete your eliminations and your headshots through regular gun progression. The only thing you may struggle with is the headshots, and if you are, just aim for the head, and if you're really, really struggling, go to hardcore where it is one-shot headshots at all time. Nonetheless, you should complete those two challenges extremely quick while working on others, and you won't even notice you complete them. To complete your bloodthirsties, I highly recommend spawn trapping on any map that you know the best, and pair that with the game mode that you enjoy the best. So if your favorite map is Nuketown to spawn trap on, do it in your favorite game mode because you will be better at it overall. If you're kind of unsure of what game modes to play to do Bloodthirsties, play Domination, Hardpoint, Hardcore Domination, or even Combined Arms Assault Hardpoint. Stick to the flank routes of these game modes and you should get plenty of Bloodthirsties. To complete your long shots, this is where I highly recommend running the three time scope. You're going to see tons of gameplay in the background of me getting long shots, and I was doing it on small maps like Crossroads. You just got to stick to the long lines of sight, whether that be the river side of Crossroad, the dune side of Satellite, or the street side of Moscow. Just find a good long line of sight, try to hide yourself as much as possible, and pick off enemies as they run by or run towards you. Long shots are extremely easy with the Milano as well compared to some of the other SMGs, especially with the attachments that I recommended, just because your bullet velocity and damage range is going to be increased to get super easy long shots, almost as if it was an assault rifle. Doing the flora category where you have to use equipment and everything to help you get kills, I highly recommend running smoke grenades or stuns, just so if you are ever rushing an enemy spawn or objective, you can throw a stun, throw a smoke, hopefully disorient and affect other enemies, and you can kill them while they're stunned, and those will count towards this challenge. You can also run UAVs, counter UAVs, and the harp, and as long as one of those is active, every kill you get during that life while that UAV or counter UAV is active, it'll count towards this challenge if you do have multiple streaks stacked up don't call them all in at once just space them out so the second one of them expires call in the next one 
and that way you can maximize your time. Also, place field mics or jammers by the enemy's spawn on Nuketown, and that being the other house where they are spawning at. So if you're spawning at yellow, they're spawning at green. Go place it at the green house. Every time an enemy is in the radius, it will count as a kill. And because Nuketown's so small, basically every kill you get in their spawn will count. For the point blanks, hop on Nuketown or hop on close range game modes like Hardpoint. Use stuns and smokes to your advantage, not only to complete flora, but to get easier point blank kills. Sneak up behind enemies or beside enemies that are least expecting it. Point blanks really just require you to be as close as possible to the enemy, which is really easy on Nuketown if you're camping or holding down the enemy's spawn and spawn trapping them. Just try to stay out of the long range areas. I think that's kind of common sense, but you're not going to get point blanks or very many point blanks if you're sticking to the close range spots of the map. Just try to get to those B flag locations locations and those close quarter high action locations and the last challenge is double kills these should come naturally throughout your gun progression but if you're stuck on it for some reason play by active objectives or spawn trap during nuketown 24 7 double kills will come super fast and that is going to be gold for the milano 821 in cold war i hope these tips and tricks do help you on your road to dark matter and as well as I mentioned down below, there is a full playlist with every guide, not only for Dark Matter, but for Dark Ether as well. So if you're going for the Mastery Camos, that's the playlist that you're going to want to check out. As always, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, dislike if you didn't. There's no hard feelings. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos in the future regarding Mastery Camos or Warzone or anything that comes out in the future. And uh, yeah, I'm about to head out. And if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.